trainer. Explosive power is really important if you play any type of sport or if you do martial arts because moving something like yourself or something like a ball through space quickly requires explosive power. Now, even if you're not into sports or martial arts, you will need explosive power for different things in your life. Like, let's say you're running after a bus or something, you have to sprint. So that's called, that's explosive power. Um, let's say you're playing ball with your friends or your, your kids. That also requires explosive power. Now there are more advanced exercises, so I'm going to show you what you can do if you're just a beginner. I will show you the exercises, and then I will show you the beginner's modification to the exercises. But first, now I don't have a mat. You will need a mat, and that's it. It's just going to be your body weight for today. First exercise is called Ninja Tug Jump. Okay, you start from your knees. Now this takes a while to master. Um, it may be a little bit harder if you have your mat here, because it might be in your way. So. You can move your mat away. So you go down on your knees. Now you have to re jump up and replace where your knees were with your feet. So it's explosive power to jump up. And then you tuck. That's a tuck jump. Okay? So you go down to your knees. Swinging your arms will help you get up. Okay? So you're going to swing your arms, jump up, and then bring your knees up as high as you can. If you're a beginner, don't do the ninja jumps right now because those are the hard part of this exercise. Just try to do a squat and then a tuck. Squat and then a tuck. If you're a really truly beginner, just do a regular squat and try to hop up a little bit at the top. The next exercise is going to be clapping push-ups. Okay, so you get down into push-up position. position. Suck your stomach and really squeeze your, those abs in your butt. You're going to come down like you're going to do a push-up and then pop up and clap your hands. Now if you're just beginning here, you can just do a little bit of a plyometric push off the ground. Okay, try to land softly on your hands. If you're a really beginner, you can do these on your knees. You put your knees onto a mat, you get into push-up position, you come down and pop up. Come down, pop up, or clap your hands. It's a little bit easier. Okay, the next exercise is pop-up burpees. So you come down and you're gonna pop up into like a fighting stance. So you come down, touch the ground with your body, pop up to fighting stance. And then switch to a low squat. Have one foot forward, one foot back. Switch to the size each time. Now, if you're a beginner, you do the push like a regular burpee without a push up. You just jump your feet out, jump your feet in. You come up as fast as you can. Jump out, jump in, come up. If you can add a little jump at the top, that'll add into your explosiveness. See, I'm already out of breath just showing you these exercises. So. This is high intensity. Next exercise is skier hops. So you're gonna hop up to one foot, get down to a low squat, and then hop to the other side. It's a good idea to have something that you're jumping over or two cones maybe that you're jumping towards. So you have a distance that you wanna reach. If you really can't do the hopping side to side with the skier hops, you can do a side lunge. So you're gonna lunge to the side, come up explosively on one foot, okay? And then you go from one side, five on one side, like this, try to really explode up, okay? Explode up, and then the other side. Down, explode up. Down, even bring your knee up like this. Down, as low as you can, explode up. The last exercise is going to be plank jump ups. So you go start in plank position with your forearms on the floor. Suck your stomach and squeeze it, but this is very important. It will help you to be more explosive. And you're going to pop up onto your hands. Come down, pop up, try to pop up softly. Okay, like that. Now if you're a beginner, you're just gonna walk up, like this, and then walk down. Walk up, walk down. We're going to do five repetitions of each exercise, rest a little bit, and then do it again two more times for a total of three rounds. Turn off over this dog. 
each side. Then go. This workout is really short because of its explosive component it's really hard okay so I'm breathing really hard it really raises your heart rate it'll help burn fat and it'll help you get more into shape if you have a sport or a martial art that you have to that you have to get better with this will really really help you out and if not just in general to raise your fitness level adding some explosiveness into your workout into your workout routine will really help you out in the long run. Woo. Okay, if you like this video, please click like and share with a friend you think might enjoy it too. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and thank you so much for watching. <laughs>